Good morning, good morning, good morning. All to the bottom, good morning. Ham and cheese, good morning. Cheese, grits, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Alden Bynum. Good morning. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the sleeper team, the sleeper team in all of college football. I'm about to say, there might be, a, there might be like four or five sleeper teams, but I'm going to give you the main one. And this team is in the SEC. And this team, this team is in the SEC, and in the SEC West with the University of Alabama. You guessed it. You should know who I'm about to talk about. The surprise team in the SEC. Drum roll, please. Egg, 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 boom. Summertime, it's Texas a and It's Texas a and Texas A&M Aggies and Jimbo Fisher. Oh, Jimbo. It's one heck of a coach. I got to give it to him. Jimbo Fisher and the Texas A&M Aggies with Kellen Bound. He's been starting, for, I think, for about three years or something like that. Kellen Bound, I think that's his name, but it's Kellen. And they got some cohesive. That's to me. That's the team, you know, all SEC, SEC teams, you know, can give, you know, Bama a, little, a matchup like, but this, for, for this year, dog, for this year, dog, A&M is going to be a little bit better than they were. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't bring Jimbo Fisher in there for nothing because Jimbo Fisher wins like you got to give it to him like and he's a, um he comes from under the nick saving tree if i'm correct they were at lsu and stuff like that you know and even when he went uh oh so you know where i'm about to go with this one. and in the second or third game of the season for both these programs you got to remember jimbo fisher went to well for the state, for the state, for the state. Woo! I know you're like, how you know that, dog? I stayed in Tallahassee. <laughs> and I went to a lot of Florida State games. I stayed right there by the stadium. Stayed in Burt Reynolds, actually. But right there by the stadium. <laughs> right? Ask me how I know that was my first sugar bowl that I had uh went to and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> You know, so, but he went to Florida State and the athletic, Atlantic Coast Conference, the ACC, I'm trying to get it all correct and proper, from in the ACC. So, he had to face Dabo Sweeney with, with the Clemson Tigers. And they played one another eight times while they were in the ACC, or while Jimbo was in the ACC. It's 4-4 four, four between the two men. It's 4-4. Four, four. They split. Uh, all I know, Clemson won the last three right, right before he left to go to a and So what I'm saying is this. I think, well, I know. I think Alabama is a little bit better than Clemson this year. Why? It's because of a couple of things. Um, you know, but Clemson go like, we lost a lot of people. We lost a lot of people. You know, you know, but y'all still riding on sunshine. Y'all got Cliff Atien. You know, he put seven, I always said, since last year, even but year before last, when they bust him up, I was like, that boy got to put some weight on. He sure got to give it to him. He sure did. But, Alabama's going to be a little bit better uh, than the, a Clemson team this year. And so this is what I'm thinking. I'm just, I know 
This is what I'm thinking. Watch for the upset. Watch for the upset. I think Texas A&M could upset Clemson. And give, oh, Alabama, a run for their money. And the square sucker, that ass. The square sucker. Right? Is that going to be a thumping? Right? I think that's going to be a thumping. Like them two going at it. But, and it's the same thing with Clemson. I think a and can beat Clemson. I really do. Can someone beat Clemson in the ACC this year? Could the U do it? We don't know. But that's the sleep. That's the sleeper team in college football. Texas A and M. Uh, yeah, Texas A and M. I just yeah, Texas A and M. I did deal a little. I'm like, okay, dude been playing for three years and you know, Jimbo builds. He'll be, man, he can build it, you know? So, it's been all them bite him. I'm looking for Clems for Texas A&M to upset Clemson. But I know you saying, so how they gonna upset Clemson? How they can't upset Alabama? Cause I said before, Alabama's a little bit better than Clemson this year and Tua is not going to force things, make big plays. He's going to have Trey Sanders. He's going to have them other running backs. He's going to have his tight ends. He don't got to hit the bombs. Like, you don't got to get the 26 yarders. You can hit an eight-yard eight pass. Boom, that's it, dog. That's all you need. He was doing it. We lost, but he was trying to do too much. It's been all them buying him. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. Peace.